Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back here to today's edition of Intuitive Angling and really appreciate you guys swinging by the channel to spend some time with me and watch the video today and definitely appreciate um, all the support guys that the channel gets here from all you guys that are supporting Intuitive Angling. I just want you to know a big thank you for me and my family for everybody that's been doing that. Guys, I am freaking exhausted right now. I got up at 3.45 this morning. I'm down here at the uh, Toyota Series Championship on Lake Wheeler. And, but I really wanted to address this and do this video because I got to tell you guys, I am really saddened and disappointed by a lot of the comments that I got yesterday on that uh, environmental uh, video that I did talking about the, uh, the uh, coming deregulation um, and uh, relaxing of the safeguards of some of our environmental uh, laws and, and legislation that we have in place right now over the next coming years. And guys, the uh, the level of vitriolic hate that I got from bringing up this environmental concern that should, con could, that should concern everybody's well-being, not just our well-being now, but for future generations, I was disappointed, to, pay, to be honest with you guys. And I sort of want to address that a little bit in today's video. And I really want, I want to know from you guys, I want your opinion on this because I can't figure it out. So I, I want an honest opinion from you guys after I get done with this video um, because I got a, quite a bit to say in it. I, I really want to get your feedback on this. Now, all you guys that watch the channel here, I don't make any, I don't try to hide it at all. I am an environmentalist when it comes to the future sustainability of our sport. And I always have been since I was a little kid. I, I mean, I was taught that we take care of our planet and we, we protect our planet and we pass it on better than we found it. Um, I don't know. I don't see how anybody thinks that's a bad thing. And um, one of the things that I've done on my channel here is I've been very outspoken on environmental issues, um, which are not conservation issues. I think there's a big disconnect. People don't realize that conservation issues and environmental issues that are tied to fishing are not the same things. Conservation issues, for the most part, are things like creel limits and habitat restoration and that surface type of stuff and environmental issues address address the root problem they don't just they don't address the symptom of the problem which are conservation issues environmental issues address the very root of the problem as far as sustainability of our fisheries um, so i've done this for a long time i've, I've, I've ever since i've had the channel and um, i'll continue to do so and one of the things about this is um, ever since that I started doing, ever since I've started doing this, I've made it very clear that personally, I feel that if you're a bass angler, you have a responsibility to also be a steward of the, our planet here. And the stewardship of this planet means you have to be involved in both environmental and conservation issues, which are very complex topics because I encourage people not to get wrapped up in their own personal just me 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 how many how many fish can i catch how many fish can i catch today how many more fish can my live scope help me catch i encourage people to constantly have this mindset of how am i how am i going to hand this off to the next generation better than i found it and i i think that's an honorable way to think and i i don't i don't understand why people have an issue with that so here's what i want to know from you guys Every, you know, on a regular basis, about once a month or every two months, I'll do some type of environmental related, uh, you know, topic to bass fishing because it's always tied in, guys. You can't, you cannot not tie in environmental issues to bass fishing because it's so intimately connected. And so I've covered things like climate change issues, different point source pollution issues, different challenges we have to our air and water quality legislation that is either passed or removed that protects and safeguards some of those things it's news and this is not my opinion i'm basically telling you what has come from the experts here experts within the field that's experts at nasa experts at NOAA, experts in the field that i talk about i'm sort of you know passing that along without a doubt and this is what i understand every single time I do what I call a hardcore environmental, you know, video. Um, I'll lose hundreds of subscribers. I did a video um, about a year and a half ago on how climate change is affecting Lake Mead and, and the, the whole southwest part of the United States 
they're in a 500 year drought and I was passing along information from all the experts at the state agencies um, and along with NASA. And guys, in that one video, just because I brought up what I was telling everybody what NASA and some of the, the government state agencies said about the challenges of it, I lost over 500 subscribers in one day on that one video. The video I did yesterday, I mean, yesterday, I'm talking about the rollback of the, the, the deregulation of some industry environmental laws and some of the relax the, the, and relaxing some of the safeguards of some of our environmental laws that are currently in place. I lost 300 to at least, that's probably more by now, but at least 300 subscribers yesterday. And not only did I lost that, but I had a ton of vitriolic, hateful comments that just because I brought up the fact that I'm concerned about our environmental rollbacks and legislation is gonna affect the future sustainability of our fisheries and the fisheries that our children inherit. That was my point. If you guys go back and watch the video, I'm talking about my concern about the future generations that will have this planet after we leave it. And guys, the hate, the vitriolic hate over that it just really disappointed me. It made me sad to see that, that disconnect, because here's the thing about it. It's like, and first of all, guys, I don't have any patience for hate and vitriolic comments or attacking the messenger. Those comments do get deleted. I've made it very clear. I don't have any problem with a civil debate. If I, if I talk about s some particular environmental legislative law that's getting rolled back, Let's have a respectful civil debate on it. You give me your point of view on this topic. With it. leave me out of it. I'm just I'm just talking about the topic to you guys. Let's. I want to hear your point of view. I, I want to hear your justification why you think it's not a good idea to safeguard our environment. I want to know that, and I, I want to I want it to be discussed again in a respectful civil you know way that we should talk to each other as humans. Not that, you know, I don't know how many people yesterday said, Randy, you're an effing idiot for talking about this. It's like, so I'm an idiot. I'm an effing idiot for talking and trying to let people know that I'm concerned about our grandchildren and our children, that the type of water and air quality they're going to have. That makes me an effing idiot. Well, if that does, then I am one because I am concerned about that. So, um, I want to know that. I want to know where is this hate coming from? Where where is this this it's it's almost like some type of a tribal deal because it's like we we've reached a point in our society that we are so divided as a country that when you talk about environmental issues, you're you're like the enemy to some people for no reason whatsoever. And one of the things that I don't understand it's like why are we so apathetic about this? Why, why do we discredit the experts? Why do we dis, why it, not everyone, but why is there a segment of the population that almost gets violent when you bring up this topic and they discredit the legitimate experts on the field simply because they don't share their worldview with that? I want to know that. If you're one of those people, I want to know your point of view on that in a respectful civil way. And one of the most insane things that I've ever heard, if you guys have ever heard Elon Musk talk, he's worth a quarter of a trillion dollars now for, for however he's worth that much. But anyway, he wants to colonize Mars because he says that in case our planet becomes unsustainable. This is the most insane concept of the world. What, you don't think it makes more sense to take care of our planet so we don't have to colonize another planet because we've ruined our own planet? I mean, do you want your great, great grandchildren to have to live on freaking Mars because we ruined our own planet through our own apathy and ignorance and then polluted it to death? Is that what, is that what we want? Are we not going to be happy until we completely deplete and, you know, disintegrate our resources, you know, simply to gain corporate profits so we have to move to another dang planet? I mean, the insanity of that is off the charts. So... I don't know guys, I'm just, like I said, I don't, this is something, I've been like this since I was a little kid. I mean, I've talked about, you know, protecting the little creek that I grew up and fishing when I was in grade school. I've been doing this forever. 
I don't have any agenda on trying to make people mad or make people miserable or make people angry. I'm just trying to bring some awareness to it because I'll tell you right off the bat, guys, most people are apathetic about environmental issues. They, they, they immediately get turned, they either get turned off and lose interest thinking maybe somebody else is going to take care of it or they label you as an idiot for even talking about it. And that's what makes me disappointed. That's what makes me sad about this. That that's what makes me concerned about the, the you know the planet that we're going to leave to our grandchildren. I am. I'm concerned about that with this type of attitude. So if you're one of those people out there, I want to hear. I want you to. I want you to explain in detail why you feel this vitriolic level of hate for somebody, or person, or persons, or people in general that have a vested interest in trying to protect our environment. I don't do this for clicks, guys. Every time I do an environmental video, it costs me a lot of money because I lose a lot of subscribers when I do it. I do it because it's the right thing to do. I do it because I can lay down in bed at night and I can sleep well knowing that, you know, I didn't allow, you know, money to affect what I think is the higher, you know, bigger cause here. So um, I just want you guys to know that, that every, I go out on a limb every time that I do that. I've had people try to get, I've had people call my sponsors and complain about it, that I've, I have the audacity to talk about environmental issues. So I'm trying to wrap my head around this and that's why I sort of want your guys' uh, feedback on that to maybe get some clarification so, so I can understand. I, I really want to understand it. And like I said, I want to, I want to have a respectful civil debate about it. I don't want to argue, I don't want to name call, I, that's that's not productive in any way, shape, or form. Most of the time, I have found out throughout life that when people resort to the vitriolic, hateful name-calling comments, that's because they're unable to express how they feel in any other form. So they resort to that primal, basic response because they can't really come up with a rational, reasonable explanation with that. So. Anyway, guys, sort of, sort of disappointing because I'm, like I said, I just, you know, we're not here very long, guys. I'm telling you right now, you're, we're, I don't, we are not on this planet very long and we have to get along. We have to be kind to each other. We have to get, be good to each other and we have to take care of this planet. I don't want freaking us having to go to Mars to live because we've ruined our own planet. You see movies about it all the time about how humans have destroyed and polluted the planet so much it's, it's unhabitable. I mean, that's that's not far fetched. I mean, think about that. You think about movies. It's like any time if you watch a science or any type of a a movie like that, like some type of futuristic music, m movie. The problem is when people don't listen to science. That's what gets them in problem. They don't listen to science and reality, like in that movie. Don't look up or anything like that. But. Anyway, guys, hope you're doing well. Like I said, I just want to get your feedback on that. And um, like I said, if I'm, if I'm, if you're one of the guys out there that I have just completely pissed off by talking about the environment, I just want, I want to hear from you. I just want, I just want, want us to talk like we're just friends that can disagree because I, I really want to try to wrap my head around why this is happening. So anyway, guys, hope you're all well. We'll talk later.